Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this so if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button let's get started and we do the usual starting with the dixie guys um checking uh, the dixie on daily time frame honestly nothing has changed since last week so um what happened on friday was a nice uh, bounce to the upside but as you see here it got rejected quickly so a big wick from the upside uh, coming at area that we marked already as a level of interest uh, last week so if we go down to the four hour time frame uh, if you're watching my uh, overviews or uh, if you are in our trading group you see uh, that i've been talking about this level that uh, gonna be a key area so uh, we've got this uh, quick bounce to the upside on uh, those uh, news event i think it was the uh, pce uh, let me check uh, yeah it was uh, on these news event we've got this uh, um, which which came both uh, better than expected we've got this uh, quick bounce to the upside to then get rejected all the way back so if we go down to the one hour time frame you see it clearly here so seeing this now as uh, a, a fake out a break out of the trend line but then uh, in the same day everything went back to uh, where it was before and that is potentially showing that we might get one more leg to the downside so we should keep an eye on this little um, area here this uh, counter trend line if broken next week at this level here we might see further weakness on the dollar so it's going to be very very interesting to see what will happen is it that the dollar will hold now above this level and uh, start to uh, moving higher or is this going to be the break to the downside and then further uh, downside on the dollar or not um uh, checking gold we uh, also still seeing uh, gold uh, still in a bullish structure on the daily time frame Either, uh, even here nothing has changed i think uh, the bulls are now uh, looking toward these areas as a potential uh, market objective uh, checking the structure is still a nice bullish structure with higher highs and higher lows and that did not change now it is slowing down and we're getting a little bit smaller uh, body candles uh, here candles uh, are on the daily time frame with small bodies we see that the momentum is slowing down i still think that any correction back down toward monthly or two and the trend line is a good area to look for potential further upside on gold so that is my plan for the upcoming week on uh, this market oil also testing uh, the top of this range checking the daily time frame you see how important this level is if we draw this like this you see that <coughs> back here been tested many times here as well and uh, lately we stuck here at this level at around monthly r1 on oil so uh, i'm uh, still looking to see if we're gonna have a break to the upside or not on friday there was an attempt but then the close of the day was back inside and here we had a what we could call a fake out to the downside to then see the price pushing higher and now holding the highs of the range when this happened i'm start expecting a little bit of a build up pressure for a break to the upside but there is no idea to play anything until you see a real breakout so since the price went back inside the range now there is uh, potentially a, a, a possibility after this double top and the broken neckline that you see something like this and back down toward these areas down here to retest these levels before the further upside so that is what i'm watching firstly or i want to see a break above previous highs to then look for further upside as for now it is still range bound euro usd did the opposite of uh, the dixie and um, we've talked about this level as carrier uh, area of interest that if we got a retest we might see further upside from here a tested deep uh, on friday but 
as you see the the bullish candle is actually much bigger than the bearish candle so this this here the break of the channel here i'm seeing that as a fake out at the moment and that uh, this level is still holding as support as far as that is the case i'm looking for potentially further upside so it's gonna be very interesting to see what will happen monday tuesday if we're gonna get something like this a correction like that could confirm a potential bullish flag a break out of that and then further upside maybe to retest the top here on um, on this market so uh, i'm still uh, bullish on euro usd waiting for uh, a little bit of um, information here what will happen next after this uh, v-shape formation we've got on um, on this market Sterling, nothing new. Uh, honestly, you see, we still have this market inside this uh, little range here. We have this range, nothing has changed. The market is still bouncing around inside that range. And in my opinion, uh, there is nothing else to do. This was the trading range for last week. This is the whole trading range for last week. And uh, the week before we've been inside here as well. So still um, nothing new. We still uh, need to play the range buy the low sell the high wait for a break out of this or a break to the downside to look further toward monthly r1 those are the scenarios um, i'm watching here on this market as far as there is no break there is no reason to do anything else until we have a breakout of um, the range usd jappy did a nice push to the upside been uh, like uh, three um, good bullish days until friday we've got a little bit of a rejection here um checking the four hour time frame we had uh, this nice uh, bottom and then a break out of the neckline and also we broke uh, above this uh, previous high to then see the market pushing back uh, quickly here on uh, late late friday so um i'm still uh, looking to see if this is gonna give us some kind of a correction first and then move higher that could be the case and especially if we get uh, a move back toward this area at around monthly pivot point where we had this um, previous level of interest here both uh, support and resistance and that uh, is the area that got broken lately so if you see something like this happening next week you still could look for a potential uh, bounce from around monthly pivot point also another level of interest gonna be this uh, broken structure here at around 1097 that could be also a level of interest for the bulls it is worthwhile watching that area also USD chief, uh, not much is happening here. The structure is still bearish on the daily time frame. Uh, there is no discussion about that, that we are looking at the bearish structure and we might see further downside. It did a nice retest last week. So we start having some kind of a rounded bottom here. Looked, looked good for a while that we might see something like this and further upside. But in my opinion, uh, for that to happen, we need to see this market at least breaking above this high to give you a little bit of a bigger correction still it might still have a lots of trouble on the way you have this area and also you have this level up here at around uh, 0.92 that could give you uh, trouble on the way up but since uh, we've got this um, strong push back down and this potential fake out here i'm uh, waiting to see if this gonna be something like uh, this that happened on Monday and then a break of this uh, little trend line if that would be the case I'm looking for further downside as first because that is a trade in the direction of uh, the main trend which is a bearish trend on the higher time frame USD CAD still a boring structure nothing uh, is happening here uh, it got stuck like um, for two weeks now inside this lower range and uh, maybe even more if we start look from here uh two three weeks inside this little range and um yeah guys uh, how boring uh, it is i will keep saying the same as far as the range is still there we should keep playing the range until we have a break out of it um and that's the way it is sometimes uh, when the markets start going sideways like this there is nothing else to do than keep playing those edges selling the highs buying the lows waiting for a breakout i keep repeating that but that is what we have to work with right now sorry for that but that's the case we have the same on aussie usd 
the range is still intact this is now a um, fake out and the market is playing the range once again uh, this range been in play since april and um, yeah the same plan here buy low sell high wait for the breakout um, do not play uh, this market uh, here in uh, the mid range it get very very choppy or stay aware of it if you don't like this kind of uh, market conditions New Zealand USD same scenario checking the daily time frame we are still inside this range also the same here um, if you don't like trading uh, ranging markets you should stay away otherwise you all you have to do is wait for these stops to be tested the same as happened last, last week and look for those reversal from the top of the range or from uh, down below here from the bottom of, of the range at around monthly pivot point that is what i've been doing now since uh, back here okay and uh, yeah sometimes you get something like this you think that the level will hold you go long and then the market goes like this that will happen but after that it start respected the respecting the range once again and why should we not just play those edges until we have a break out of it or go look for a market that is trending not many markets are trending as you see so we need to adapt so um, yeah guys that was it for this week thanks a lot uh, see you next sunday bye bye